So what you just saw there was me forging away in Brinksty Forge, uh, which isn't too far away from me, and uh, they have an annual forge in there, so I had a great time chatting to new people, chatting to old friends, and um, making the best use of their power hammers, that I'm very grateful for, because I was able to do a job that I've been commissioned to do, which is forging these big scrolls uh, that are going to London in a very old house to finish off some balustrades, believe it or not. Um, but this is two inch or 50 mil solid section that I had to forge down, and as you can imagine, doing that in this workshop would have uh, proven to be quite difficult. Um, so I've got most of them finished. Uh, I've still got a, a bit more bending work to do. I had just too much time chatting to people, so I didn't get it all done on that weekend. And so, before I get the forge going, I thought I'd give you guys uh, a bit of an update of what's going on and everything. And so, I've been really thinking hard about this power hammer. It's going to be a treadle hammer, actually, uh, but it will be able to be converted into a power hammer using pneumatics. And I've got a really good idea how that would work. I probably wouldn't be able to do stuff like this on it, but um, for doing set downs and using other tooling like um, dies and stuff like that, it, it might prove to be quite useful. At least I can make my acorns again, which I can only do with a power hammer using the dies for that. And yeah, I'm just sorry that I'm not uploading any quicker. Uh, see, the thing is, I work during the day for an engineering firm and we make all kinds of amazing bespoke stuff there. I just don't share it on this channel generally. Um, but if you are interested in what I do get up to in my day job, um, do visit my Instagram uh, account below um, because I normally, if I do a good job with something, I normally take a snap and it's just right there and then. But doing this in front of my other work colleagues isn't isn't so fun. <laughs> well, I, I generally struggle filming in public. I mean, you probably saw from the earlier footage at Brinks Forge that didn't really do a lot of talking with the camera. I tried to keep it low profile. <coughs> but there you go. But to give you guys a heads up on my next welded sculpture, I'm doing a ram's head, a, a ram skull sculpture. So that should be really fun to do. Uh, I'm doing it because I promised to make it for someone, but I'm going to give it an opportunity to use it to build it as well. Uh, and you guys who have been making the horse head sculpture, you know, a lot of you have done a really good job with that. I've seen some of the photos that you've sent me. Uh, and that's been fantastic. Some have struggled uh, with certain elements. Uh, what I'd like to do is a more comprehensive video. So when I do the ram's head sculpture, I'm going to buy laser cuts for doing that and um, the horse head. And I'll, I'll do the horse head again, but a small one and just go over the details and how how I would actually put things together. So I'll do like a cool video where it all happens very quickly and you can share it with your friends if you like. <laughs> and I'll do a comprehensive one that might be an hour or something long, you know, for those who are serious about making one. And other than that, I'm really missing doing my forged sculptures. I've got some ideas for that now. I really want to make some more horses. And um, I've got a really what I can see it in my mind, uh, a puma, a big cat. Just love animals in general. Just think they're just inc incredible creatures. And uh, the forge technique that I use, I think, really highlights the muscles and strength, and it just looks really cool. So I'm going to make one when I can get time. I'm doing my best, though. But anyway, hopefully this will be of interest to you as I finished finish uh, bending all of this up in this tiny forge. Take care.
Okay, so that's those finished. I've just got to chop them all off so they're all the same. Before you think, why are they so ropey? I did have to match a builder's template. And then I had to make all of these kind of roughly match. Like so. Started at 40, well, started at 50 millimeter box section, then went down to 45, which is what these are meant to finish up as. And they're all exactly the same now. I'll tell you what, it was particularly difficult to forge in this workshop today. Um, the extractor fan for the forge still doesn't work, so I'm still using the bouncy castle blower and a bit of air ducting to use as extraction for the forge. I'll show you a bit closer. So here's my forge. The company said they would send a new replacement fan for the one that broke, but they never did, so I'm just writing that off now. And this is basically linked to a, a little bouncy castle blower outside, blowing the um, dust and hot air away. Now what I should do really is get a chimney, but even a chimney needs to be of quite a long stack. Um, Otherwise you just don't get the draw of what you need for the forge because the forge will be not not so warm some minutes, really hot the other and it's a bit inconsistent and what you don't want is um, the workshop filling up with fume. So I thought if it's an active extraction that would work a lot better and I still think it might but I'm going to have to look into like a low wattage centrifugal fan like the blower. Um, I think would work better than the inline one, so the motor is on the outside and not in line, meaning it won't get as hot, is what I'm thinking. Uh, but it was really difficult in here, specifically because my ventilation fan, which is that one there, skews all the mess, uh, for some reason has stopped working, and that would normally blow in fresh cold air from outside, and it would keep everything in here ventilated, but you've got Without it, you just have a lot of heat in this very small workshop building up so quickly and it's just almost unbearable. Um, something I do recommend though, which I've just given a good trial, I recommend this uh, welding helmet. Now you can get these from Amazon and so I'll share a link below. Um, I actually bought this from Aldi, which is a, a local convenience store to us, uh, but I did find you can buy them off. Amazon and if you do buy anything through the links that I put down it does help me I get a, a small percentage back for doing it just for being an affiliate um, So if I can trial something and if I think it's any good I'll recommend it and uh, if you purchase through that then it helps me helps this channel Which will hopefully help you one day. I don't know Right, I need a serious wash now Happy forging a life worth living catch you in the next episode